What's going on guys? Um, I'm going to start this one in the garage. I actually just filmed the outro in the garage here. Um, went to edit the video and I must have lost my opening interview in the blind somehow. Um, so that's great. Um, I guess I'll kind of walk you through what I said before and whatnot. Um, I got to the blind. Um, I didn't get there very early just because I knew how hot it was. It got up to 50 degrees I saw today, at least 50. Um, I was hoping that north, um, that west-northwest wind would really help me out. Um, I think it did in the end a little bit, but uh, yeah, I got out there a little bit late. I got out there in the blind at 4 o'clock, sunset it was like 5.32 or something like that. I can't can't quite remember there, but, uh, yeah, got set up, had the camera rolling, looked good, um, I was in a, a big old alfalfa field, uh, that they like using in the evenings more than the mornings, it seems like, um, they all come out there, just kind of mess around, it's a pretty open field, they just, for some reason, enjoy, um, crossing a couple of the valleys up top there, um, but yeah, um, Pretty much said probably my last deer hunt of the year, which I most likely will be unless I get out to um, anywhere around here. Um, but uh, yeah, last deer hunting video. Um, don't think there's anything else I missed. I wish I really could have got that for you guys. Um, but uh, sadly, I don't have it. So we're just going to roll with this. Um, I did get some, some cool footage, um, had a couple deer come into bow range, you'll have to see obviously what happens there, but uh, yeah, it was, it was a pretty good hunt, and especially for the conditions, so uh, I will roll those clips now, um, obviously I'll catch up with you guys later, it means I've already filmed that, but uh, yeah, enjoy.
All right, guys, I'm going to keep this short and simple. Um, I'm back here at the garage at school. I um, figured I'd catch up with you guys at the end. means I'm going to try and make a video out of this, um, even though there wasn't a whole lot of action and I didn't get a shot at anything. Um, I did have that doe and buck came by me about 38 yards. Um, I pulled back. Um, didn't have the camera on or I had the tech cam going though on my bow. Um, ready to look through my peep, ready to let go a shot, and I, I just decided to pass. Um, she was walking, I didn't really want to stop her. Um, and then also at the same time, I didn't want to make a low light shot that was uh, debatable on a doe late season. It wasn't that important to me, so uh, I decided to pass. Um, I will, uh, obviously that's probably the end of my season. I'm going to try and get out one or two times along the river here at school. But uh, other than that, I'm going to get feeders back out up there, um, full of food, get those rocking and rolling, um, whatnot. But uh, appreciate you guys watching. I know this wasn't probably the most exciting video or whatnot, but uh, hopefully uh, I've learned some from this year to help out for next year. Um, and obviously summertime videos will come and spring turkey hunts and whatnot it's just me getting more comfortable with the camera really um kind of the reason for posting videos and whatnot um but i do appreciate you guys tuning in um i appreciate the support um obviously if you aren't already please subscribe that helps me out a little bit um, but other than that i don't have a whole lot else um we got probably some goose hunting video hopefully up uh, Hopefully I can get a goose hunting video up um, here in late season if I find the time between work and school and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I'll let you guys go. Thanks for watching.